In a previous video we used a C-sharp program to do a copy from one directory to another directory. And we used a format that involved a file info object and then a dot and a copy to and then a string that's the name of the file that's going to get copied to. And I made the comment in that video that and when I first came across uh, methods like this I was totally confused because if you have a copy you must have to have two parameters and I said where's the first parameter we have the copy to file name but where's the copy from file name and where it turns out to be is actually implied in the file info object which has a whole series of information about a file including a file name so the object itself contains the first parameter and then we have uh, the second parameter as an actual parameter. That also corresponds to another type of uh, file info uh, method which is move to. The difference between copy and move is that copy both copies the file over to the to location and keeps it in the from location but with the move to it moves it from the from location to the to location so it's only in the the to location uh, it's not in the uh, the from location anymore I notice there's an error here this should be string to file and two additional ways of doing copies and moves are with the uh, file class and uh, static uh, methods of copy and move and these are more conventional in that they actually have the two parameters the first is the string from uh, file name and the second is the string to file name and in both the cases of the file.copy and the file.move and the file.move is the one we're actually going to be using in this tutorial which is C sharp edge 95 the one we used the uh, file info object copy to was C sharp edge 82 if you want to see how that worked or review how that worked if you watched it before the program we're using to do the uh, move uh, is involves a number of labels. There's actually six labels here and three of the labels are just conventional labels which are like label one, you know, label two and so on. But the three labels that are after these labels actually have a, a name like the first one's uh, LBL from directory the second one's uh, LBL to directory and the third one's uh, LBL move list and the reason you want to name a label like that is if you want to uh, fill in variable information when the program runs it's sort of like a text field only more static and if we actually uh, compile and run this program you see the the variable information that gets moved that gets filled in as c colon slash test from as the from directory uh, c colon test underscore two as a two directory and then we have a list that's a dot txt file name which is c colon slash test underscore list slash mover list dot text so if we go into Windows Explorer and go to the C drive you can see we have a test from a test to and a test list directory and in the test from we have 10 totally phoning up uh, file names t01.txt to uh, t10.txt and in the test 2 currently we have nothing because we're going to move the files into this 
and we're moving the files into this not all the files the way we did in the previous video but we actually have a list that's controlling what files we move and this uh, list name is moverList.txt so we double click on that we see the names this contains are uh, t02.txt, t04.txt and so on basically all the even file names so after the move all the even file names should be in the to directory and all the odd file names should still be in the original from directory well if we look at the uh, form load time you notice there's uh, three constant strings which I usually by my own convention just make its capital letters separated by underscores and the from directory is uh, at sign c colon backslash test from which is the directory we're just looking at and I'm able to put in a backslash because I'm using the at sign that says don't use the backslash as an escape character at sign says ignore escape characters and just use them as straight characters and then the to directory I have specified as the test to directory we we're just looking at and the move list I have specified as the mover dot mover list dot text file that we looked at that contained all the even file numbers and at the form load time I just set the uh, labels the label dot text attribute equal to each of these strings in turn so that's how we saw these names when we initially ran the program since the form load runs when the program initially runs if we look at the event handler for the move files and list uh, button basically there's two problems to solve first we've got to read in the file names from the uh, the mover list and second we have to actually do the copy so the the outer part of the solution to the problem is reading in the file names so we create a stream reader object called SR and then we have a number of strings like the curve file and to file and from file and so on and we instantiate the SR using a file open text file dot open text with the move list which is the name of the uh, the mover list uh, text file and then we do the sr dot read line to read in the first line of this file and we put it in the string cur file and then we have a while loop that says if the cur file is not equal to null if there were no lines in this file you would get a null so if this is null the while loop will just get skipped and will drop down to the sr dot close but presumably we do have lines in there we just saw them so it'll read in the first line it'll say if cur file is not null and it's not so it'll fall through and start doing the lines in the uh, while loop and in terms of solving the first problem the only line we're really worried about is this cur file equals sr dot read line which reads in the next line in the file and then goes back and continues in the loop so that solves the reading and the text file names uh, problem and the next sub problem is to actually do the move itself and in order to do that we use these other uh, string variables we defined locally in the event handler and uh, we take the to file and we concatenate the to directory name with a slash and then the cur file name that we read in from the mover list file and for the from file we do the same thing with the from directory so both of these have the same file name which is what we want we want to move both the from file and the to file to files of the same name and then we use the static uh, method of the file class file.move with the from file specified which remember is a concatenation of the from directory and the current file name in the list at, to the to file name which is a concatenation of the to directory and the current file in the list and 
after that we just use the items.add to add the curve file name to a list box so it gives us a visual uh, awareness of the file being moved you know otherwise it'd just be a black box where it would work but we wouldn't see what it did so once again if we uh, compile and run this and this time I press the uh, move file button you see it shows the, the all the even files getting moved and now in Windows Explorer if we look at the test from directory you see the only files that are still there are the odd files T01, T03, T05 and so on and if we look at the test 2 the even files are now moved over to here T02, T04 and so on T06 so the program essentially works and you might be saying who wants a program like this idiot? <laughs> I actually have found several uses for moving files and copying files based on lists and I'm sure once you know the solution you'll start finding problems for it too. As uh, Benjamin Franklin said, what's the use of a newborn baby? It turns out once you have a newborn baby there's a lot of uses that come up for it. Well. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and learned a lot and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.